my thought for today is we need to hold our students pretty loosely. Every good teacher friends, wins come and go for a variety of reasons. And you have to not take it personally in this job. It's kind of hard. I have some students that I've taught for 40 or 50 lessons. Think about all that time spent together. And one of my students in particular is like my favorite. She brings me around her house with her iPad. She introduces me to grandma and grandpa and her dog. And I feel like I know her well. And she just dropped off the face of the planet. I don't know if she quit VIP kids. Just took a month break for Chinese New Year. I haven't seen her in like six weeks. And I used to see her two or three times a week. I was thinking about her today and I'm like, oh, I really miss her. And I wish there was a way to communicate and ask her like, what happened? But in the end, really, with these students, you just kind of have to hold them loosely. Let me show you this. I have a list of regulars, which I know is kind of silly because like I said, they come and go. But I look at this list regularly. I look at my regular list regularly. These are the kids that I've taught like at least five times. I haven't seen some of these students in weeks, like weeks and weeks. My point in all of this is just enjoy the moment. Whoever you have in this moment, enjoy them. Don't dream about having a student for two years straight or don't put all of your energy into making a reward system for just one student because kids might leave. I've experienced this on the other side. But we haven't taken online classes in weeks in weeks and honestly for us the po the reason is the expense we just decided it was getting a little too expensive in our monthly budget so my daughter took lingo bus and kids club spanish classes loved them both right now it's just a little too expensive for us we just decided it wasn't worth it plus my daughter is in a season right now at school she's in third grade she just has a ton of homework and we didn't want to add in more work. That's our reason. We we left because of the expense and because of the time commitment. Some of these families, they might leave because they found a different teacher and afford it anymore. Or they have a commitment in the evening. You just have to kind of hold them loosely. Don't get too offended and don't get hurt. Just be confident in who you are and who you're teaching in that moment and do your very best in that moment. That's kind of my thought for today. What do you think? Have you had the experience where you've had to let a student go or you miss a student? How'd you deal with that? I'm just kind of curious. All right. Bye, friends. Happy teaching. Look how high the snow is. That snow. I think it's 32 inches so far this winter. All I do is shovel, 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 shovel. We don't need a snowblower.